Go your turn. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got a scallywag of a different type. It's our five-year anniversary party going on tonight. Gathering. Woo! Not a party. It's tonight. See, it's not really tonight, but it's tonight. Scallywag 13, and we're going to... Test it! Lifestyle! <laughs> Fifth anniversary gathering. Woo! No, this is, well, this is coming out Saturday. Right, we're pre so Saturday night. Yeah. Yes, it's the Monday before the big Scotch God gathering. Yes. Friday's already occurred when they're watching this. Boy, wasn't that fun. Wasn't the after thing a blast. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. What about when... Uh, I can tell already it's going to be... What about when the sniper did that thing? <laughs> what do you smell, teen well, I got spirit? A, no, I just got a whiff of, oh. a slight whiff of the whiskey. I thought you were smelling teen spirit for a second. Being a foot away from it. Right. So, all that's happened... It's, it's now Saturday morning. Some people are still sleeping. This may be the first thing they see. Could be. Is us. Yep. Hello, and you're going to be seeing us later again tonight at 5. Now, the reason, uh, or the Scotch Ooh. God shout out, and the reason we're doing this bottle mm. goes to Jay Fretless. Right. Jay Fretless sent us this bottle for the fifth anniversary. He could not make it, so right. he said, I'm sending a bottle in my proxy. Love it. No uh, wonder, no wonder is that he okay? is without fret or has less <laughs> right. fret than most. No fret going He's on He's fretless. So, Jay Fretless, thanks for the Scallywag 13, and we thought let's do our an Saturday anniversary show with the Scallywag 13. A Douglas, Douglas Lang, clearly a limited edition. We've got this whole, like, sherry-colored wine thing going on here, aged 13 years. Tell us more. Tell us more. I don't know much about this. I'm coming in pretty blind. Well, the standard Scallywag is the Speyside blend. Yeah. Um, Sherry-based. Right. Is non-age statement. Gotcha. It's a, so it's a big NAS. Yeah. This one is the 13 year. Yeah. Now, I believe, and um, Plaza, Rainier at Plaza was trying to get a bottle of this in for us Could quite be. a while back. We talked about it a couple of times on the live stream. Which is why I think Fretless had asked, he said, did you ever get the Scallywag 13? I said, no. Good. And then he said, bam. So, and I've got coin 600. We'll 632. 632. 600. Coin 600 we will put on eBay. He's got the magic one. Uh, for a seven-day auction. So, this airs on October 20th. The seven-day auction would run through October 27th for coin 600. Scallywag 13, I could smell it. A very slight, just, I got a whiskey nose. Ooh. And I, yeah, I stole Bart's of, Riedel. Yes, you did. That's a good glass. The stem makes me feel fancy. But you get, I get, I get a lot of juicy wine and fruit. I get a good grape in here, really. I didn't. Your nose, this doesn't work for nosing. Oh, wait, there it is. <laughs> It's a good noser. Yeah, tropical fruits. Yeah. Not necessarily a dark Oloroso sherry. More lighter berries. To me, it, it it's kind of like when we've got the we've got a little straining basket. We'll put a, a bunch of grapes in there and just kind of rinse them all off. And then you get this this real nice, crisp, clean, light fruit. Hmm. I like that. 13 years. I was looking on the back. It says the scout, this scallywag, lucky 13 years old. Mm. What does the, I didn't see lucky anywhere else. Why does it say that on the back? <laughs> Space I blended 13 malt. 13 years is 13 usually years. unlucky. Oh, gotcha. Boom. Ooh. Good call. Yeah. Ooh. Scallywag, lucky 13 years old, carries only the finest Bayside malts and predominantly matured and sweetly spiced sherry butts. Uh, this is interesting. I've got an all space, spice, space, an all space, an all spice, a maltiness, with an oak moving through there. I'm going to have to pop back in, all with a juicy, watery mouth. Mm. <laughs> now, let's say wow. as well, we just opened, well, we opened this bottle 15, 20 minutes ago. Just to let it get some air, we had not opened this bottle. Um, so it has been sitting in our glass for a little bit. This is, is the first time we've That is really it. interesting. Huh. I get maltiness on the nose still. But boy, is it just, uh, it's like a mouth-watering. It's like a, a, a juicy explosion. <laughs> <laughs> a 
for lack of better terms. Mm. 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 Yeah, a lot of... I love, we have to source this one out. Fruity, lighter, citrus, fruity notes. See, I get the oak on the forefront. As soon as I take that little swallow, that's when those sherry notes start really popping. And then, it's odd, the finish. <laughs> the finish gives me this feel like I just bit into a, a real nice, juicy piece of fruit. Mouthwateringly. Mm. Tangerine. Yeah, that's probably it, which tangerines, I usually don't get a lot of bursts of juice. But. I can't say the sherry is, it's not as sherry influenced or as sherry rich as I was expecting. Lighter I, on the sherry notes, raspberries, blueberries. Okay. See, I get a lot of grapes, grapes, and just, but not specific. More to me, almost Pedro Jimenez cask rather than Oloroso sherry casks. You're way better on that than me. Well, the Oloroso would be bringing the raisins, the plums, gotcha. the dates. Right. Yes. That, yeah, which I'm not. Getting. I don't get a lot of the plum raisin. No. This is this is more of a clean, juicy grape sideline to it with a maltiness creamy caramel brulee cinnamon sprinkled on it mm. maltiness very nice what was our abv on it 43 46 46 yeah it's, it actually wow. felt a little lighter i thought yeah, it maybe does. it was 40 i thought maybe 40 to 43 mm. is i just got like a real light pie crust i think that's some of the maltiness coming in with the sweetness Mm. Mm. Toasted oak in the finish. And that maltiness kind of lays right underneath. What do you no, want we to Well, compare? I was looking at the scallywag. I don't have I don't, a scallywag yeah. here. Well, we actually, we had those bottles from the distributor. They gave them to us right. to test. That's true, too. So we took those back. But didn't you buy a scallywag for yourself as well? No. Okay. I've meant to mm. because I did like it for a Speyside Sherry blend. I just, you got Big P. I've got, got the Big the, P, one of the, the double Christmas barrels. Big P, right. It'd be nice to see the regular Scallywag next to it to mm. um, see how it, how it compares. I'll still stick with the lighter uh, sherry notes, the blueberries, the raspberries, honeys, honeycomb, caramel they talk cinnamon. About, hmm. They say it has a big, distinctly sherried, raisiny nose, which I don't get. Mm -mm. Carrying home-baked fruitcake and molasses, the palate offers that same big, macerated fruit. Yeah, yeah. Sherry-based hit, combining later nutmeg, ginger, and vanilla tones. I do get the ginger. All are neatly combined. And the spice dominated finish with a long and wagging tail of mocha. Mocha. Mm. I'm getting that lovely, like, dry pie crust. Little astringent, not bad. Expected. Hmm. So. Tonight is the event at All Things Barbecue. Looking ahead from when we're filming this, it looks like it should be a fairly warm day. So when uh, people either drive over there or walk over there, it's not too far to walk. It should be in its high 50s, low 60s. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, the Monarch. Which Down is into a, the 40s at night. Low cool. Okay, yeah. The, I have a little jacket. Uh, the Monarch, which is in between your the Drury... Uh, in and all things barbecue is a great place to stop off. Maybe even uh, uh, have some more after uh, the event closes down mm -hmm. at all things barbecue. So it's all kind of right there. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, our live show. You recently bought like a mixer, which looks extremely cool. A well, bit intimidating to me. It is a it, it is a mixer. We bought it basically as a mic hub. 
Right. So we could use multiple mics during a live stream. And it's supposed to, and we got some very good mics that are supposed to cut out background noise. So it should help with a live show oh, and yeah. a crowd like Yeah, this. it'll be, the, the mics will be awesome. And if we were at a whiskey fest or something like that and had a, okay. a set up, uh, I think they're going to do a great job of isolating our right. voices and right. canceling out the and background we, noise. We hope to go to some more whiskey fests and some things. Yeah. Um, we can also use our wireless mics with it, I found out as well, and tested it. So we can post a yeah. camera like at the live event. Bart and I can be live mic'd up, walking around, around talking yeah. to people, interacting. Yes. Burping, farting, no burping, doing no all farting. that. The mic can be individual, so I don't have to be going like this. <laughs> right. Ask Talk. Me. You, going, Speak. you got a mic there? Is Talk. It working? Talk. <laughs> Check out the Austin Man on the Street video. <laughs> Boom. That was a highlight. All I um, know was I was I was tired and I was hot. <laughs> I was yeah, I was tired. It was hot. We were it was a long day. That's uh ninety ninety one. It's eighty nine. I mean I like the juiciness. Um it's uh the, the age, I think, shows through. There's some complexities here that I think I would even want to puzzle through and spend some more time with off camera. A creamy marshmallow I just got. Toasted mm. marshmallow almost a little bit. Um, it moves all the way through. I actually think a little bit higher ABV would benefit this one. A little bit more uh, sherry to it, I think, would benefit it. Well, see, it it's, doesn't, uh, at 46, it, I think that's good. It just is so smooth. It felt like a 43. Yeah. I mean, I um, it. And actually, I wouldn't peg it as exclusively matured in sherry butts. Maybe it is. Right. You wouldn't peg it. I wouldn't peg it that way. It comes off a little was, lighter. If it was, they would tell you it was. Um, all, yeah, all it says is um, selected yeah. the finest sherry butts. So, it's um, kind of, it, I, very I good. think, though, if you like sherry, you're going to enjoy this. Sure. Oh, yeah. So, uh -huh. um, price point on these, I believe, is $90 to $100, okay. which is, I don't think you'd be disappointed if you spent that. No, no. As long as you like the sherry, you're going to dig it. Um, limited edition. I wondered how many they had out. Um, I think that's, uh, it's, it's got a real nice quality feel to it like i said the, the thing i like about it is, is it moves through it has all these little changes and nuances that happen light milk chocolate i just got that's maybe the mocha they're talking mm -hmm. about yeah mm. the car well the caramel brulee earlier mm. um so that was scored is it worth it checks out on patreon do we have i don't think we have any new patreon we picked anybody it. up yeah, it's worth it. Definitely. Yeah, I haven't seen anybody. Um, I think we've done Did all the shout-outs. Maybe one. I can't remember. I thought maybe one. We do have one. But Travis is going to get his own shout-out during oh, our uh, perfect our uh, fifth anniversary show here. And he's a $3 supporter. So, Travis, send us a picture. We'll put it in a later episode. Uh, Scotch Test Dummies at gmail.com. Yes. Right? Yep. And then, um, so we need to yell his name. And then we we'll will. Something so, else. Raster Earmuffs. Yeah, Earmuffs Raster. And it's, yeah. Keltner. I'm Travis? Really sure. Yes. Travis, Travis Keltner! Keltner! Woo! I couldn't quite see the T there. I was saying, was it Kellner or Keltner? Keltner. Keltner. A uh, $3 Patreon supporter. Thank you very much. On a side note, we'd had a message come in where somebody said, hey, I already sent my photo. And I remember reading this a couple weeks ago, and I remember thinking. Well, that was Zach Andrews. Which is then the photo we used because yeah. I took it together, got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. But I didn't even think about it. We, I know, did, we I had thinking, pictures with him at, uh, get his, in Austin. Yes, right. And then we did and his Patreon with, shout out. Right. And do we have any other photos from him other than the one we took with him or I took with him? I don't. I, that might have been it. Because I was trying to think. I mean, we get a lot of messages in, so yeah. sometimes it can just kind of. Yeah. Um, so I knew we'd had that picture, but I was thinking, did he send another one? So, uh, here's to five years, Bart. Ah. Congratulations. Nice. Sounds good. Congratulations. It's good That's five right. years. It has been. And it's the Saturday. Scotch it. You Scotch gods. Solange. Dummies. Dummies.